What's up, everybody? The 78 Gemini here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, I was shared a video, and I decided to uh, share it with the channel. I'll be explaining the output of these new settings as the video goes on. But what it basically does, it pushes your seat back when you're in cockpit view, and it gives you a totally different uh, perspective of the uh, cockpit. So what you want to do, you want to go to my profile, then go to options, and then go to multi-screen. Once in multi-screen, you'll see these default settings. What you want to do is turn on multi-screen, leave everything else uh, alone, and Go all the way down to degrees between screens. Default should be at 45. What you want to do, you want to turn it all the way up to 90 degrees. Once you've done that, hit A to save the new settings. And you'll get this screen, this blank screen. Don't worry, all it's doing is reconfiguring the settings. Now I'm just going to go uh, show you a bunch of uh, random cars and showing you the difference with the default and these new settings. But first I just wanted to thank RoboMad. Hey Robo, if you're watching, thanks brother. I appreciate it. Appreciate you uh, sharing this with me. I'm loving it. It feels like I bought a whole new Forza game. But here's an Alfa Romeo. First thing you might see is the uh, difference in the steering wheel and the extra length of the driver's arms. These new settings, you know, they made me think of it. I was thinking maybe in Forza 5, they can actually have adjustable seats, you know, going into the garage and being able to adjust the seats to your liking. Maybe adjust the height, uh, you know, being able to adjust it, you know, back and forth and saving it as a file, just like you do when you save a tune. And also uh, adjustable uh, side mirrors. I think the mirrors in Forza 4 are useless. The mirror is pointing outwards too much. It's not parallel with the car. Here's a uh, Ferrari California with a roll cage. Check out the default settings, how the roll cage is like right in your face. Uh, these new settings also work great for uh, cars with the steering wheel on the right hand side. And check out the uh, side the window. You actually, you're able to see more outside the window. Here's a Lotus 211. Obviously, it's convertible. Look at that. You get to see the whole steering wheel, the whole side mirror, and you can almost see where your feet are supposed to be.
check out this comparison. Alright, first you got the whole rear view. And check out the um, default settings with the side uh, mirror. You don't even see it. Check out the steering wheel. You got that extra chrome shining there, huh? Isn't that beautiful or what? So I got one more still image and that's going to be for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did. Uh, thank you once again RoboMad for uh, sharing this with me. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care everybody. Peace. Have a great weekend.